Most people come to Cowlitz County, Washington to tour Mount St. Helens. But there's so much more to see and do around the area that it's more than a day. We'd like to show you a quick two-day tour you could do over a weekend. You can start day one on Highway 504 from Castle Rock, through Tootle, and then up to Johnston Ridge. Your first stop is Silver Lake, a great location for fishing and boating. We have several world-class visitor centers, the first of which is the Mount St. Helens Visitor Center at Silver Lake. Next is the Seven Wonders Museum, which presents evidence that large cataclysmic events around the Earth are far more common than first thought. Check out the buried A-frame, which was partially submerged with mud and ash when the Tootle River went over its banks. Next to the A-frame is a great gift shop with a statue of the famed Sasquatch. Be sure to stop by Drew's Grocery Store, where you can gas up and buy a picnic lunch for your trip. Visit the sediment retention structure, where the Army Corps of Engineers built this structure to trap sediments coming down the Tootle River. Eco Park is a great place to stop for a snack or stay the night. A favorite activity at the resort is to go on horseback down to the Tootle River, where the sediment from Mount St. Helens continues to raise the elevation of the valley. The next visitor center is Hopstep Bluffs. High above the valley floor, you can view a memorial plaque representing everyone who died in the 1980 eruption. Your next stop is the Forest Learning Center. The exhibits show how the eruption affected the forest in the area, both from the devastation and the rapid growth of trees in the blast zone. Coming back down into the valley, you can get out at the Hummocks Trail and walk across the land where huge chunks of the mountain slid to a stop miles from the crater. Just across the road is Coldwater Lake, where the landslide blocked the valley and birthed a new lake in the process. The final destination on Highway 504 is the Johnston Ridge Observatory. It's here in the 1980 eruption where the full force of the eruption was felt. The observatory, which was built right into the side of the ridge, provides a large model of the devastation. Actual trees split by the blast, and an exciting movie sharing the extent of the eruption. As the film ends, the curtains raise and a spectacular view of Mount St. Helens is revealed behind the screen. Out on the observation deck, visitors can enjoy a short presentation from a ranger, then walk up to the highest point on the ridge for an incredible view. After a day of touring Cowlitz County, you should spend the night in one of our many great hotels or lodges along the I-5 corridor. Closest to the mountain in Castle Rock is the Mount St. Helens Motel. In Kelso, you can stay at the Red Lion Hotel, the Guest House Inn and Suites, the Comfort Inn, and the Super 8 Motel. In Woodland, we have the Best Western and Cedars Inn. After your night's stay, day two will take you on a tour up Highway 503 from Woodland to Windy Ridge. Make your first stop at the Woodland Visitor Center, where you can pick up brochures and maps for your second day of adventure. As you wind your way up the Lewis River, be sure to stop at the Laluska Cultural Center, where totem poles decorate the outside of the lodges. The museum presents a beautiful collection of Indian dolls and artifacts, including a replica trading post and a stuffed buffalo. Continuing up the Lewis River, you'll see that fishing is a very popular activity where you can join anglers catching trout and steelhead throughout the year. If you're into golf, then stop at the Lewis River Golf Course with spectacular views everywhere you tee off. The Lewis River continues to wind its way east to the first dam at Lake Merwin. Open to the public, the fish hatchery shows how brood stock is grown and emptied into the river. Lake Merwin also offers a great swimming beach for the whole family. Further up the Lewis River is Yale Reservoir and Swift Reservoir. Both reservoirs offer great swimming, canoeing, 
water skiing, camping, and boating. Cougar is the last town before the mountain. The Lone Fir Resort and several other establishments offer a nice lunch break before you head east. Climbers to the summit also use this location to register. There are several branches of roads as you approach the mountain. The first branch heads up to Merrill Lake, a pristine body of water with great fishing and swimming. Further up is the Kalama Horse Camp. Another branch of 503 heads up into the volcanic wonderland on the flanks of Mount St. Helens. The first stop is the Trail of Two Forests, where visitors can explore lava beds which knock down a forest, causing trees to fall and the lava surrounded them. After the trees burned away, tubes were left where the trees fell. Further up the mountain is Ape Cave, over a mile long. This cave is the remnants of an old lava tube during a past eruption of the mountain. You can bring your own lantern or rent one at the site office. Interpreters lead guided tours every few hours. Make your way up to Climber's Bivouac, where hikers climb to the summit for a view unmatched anywhere in the world. Your last stop is Windy Ridge, which holds a spectacular view of Spirit Lake. The trees on the surface of the water fell down from the surrounding hills into the lake when the landslide made a giant tidal wave. Come and explore our recreational and scenic wonderland in and around Mount St. Helens, Washington. It's more than a day. For more information, please visit our website at visitmountsthelens.com.